All right, today we're going to be looking at digital reading a pin, okay? So we're going to hook a switch uh, to one of the Arduino pins, and then we're going to read either a 1 or a 0. And that's our going to be our experiment for today. So to get started, we need a couple things. I'm just going to pull out my little magical drawer here. Root around and see if I can find the said thing that we need. We need a resistor of some nature. doesn't really matter what it is. Just a resistor. And we also need a push-button switch. We're also going to need some wire. And I got some wire. We don't need the LED. And that should be good to go. I'm just going to seal the rest of this stuff up and put it back in there. Cool. Now, we take our switch, and you can get these at Adafruit, you can get these at SparkFun. These are really nice to have. They're really cheap little switches, but they work great for breadboards. And you can see it's divided into um, two sections here, and see how the metal parts are on the side. So the metal parts are going to be on the right and left hand side. I'll just put that down in my breadboard like that. Cool. Now, what we're going to do is run power to it on the bottom left-hand pin. And we'll run a 5-volt lead to it from right there. Just like that. Now, we're going to take the negative lead and run it over to the rail. just like that and then we're going to take this random resistor again it really doesn't matter what resistor you use for this uh, we're going to do the top left pin on the switch over to the rail negative just like that and lastly what we're going to do is run a data wire this is going to read the one and the zero over to well, let's say pin nine on the Arduino it doesn't really matter what pin you use, uh, except for it has to be on the right-hand side of the Arduino unit because these are all the digital pins and these are all the analog in pins. So, digital. Good stuff. So there's my little setup right there. Okay, so let's write some code. Okay, first off, let's go to the bare minimum that really helps and we'll write the following first off we're going to say serial oops we're going to have a serial read now and for a lot of experiments serial is where it's at to be honest with you that way we can see what's going on real time via the data so we're going to use a baud rate of 9600 and that baud rate is going to be a pretty standard baud rate and fast enough to keep up with uh, the ones and zeros. Later on, you're going to find that your baud rate is going to change a little higher uh, when you start using like serial data or wireless or uh, radio frequency, stuff like that. You can up your baud rate quite a bit. For right now, these beginning sensors, you can use 9600. So I have to state that pin to be an input, pin mode is going to be always that, and that's pin mode 9, and it's going to be an input. Just like earlier, we stated it was an output. So there's my serial setup, void setup. Then we're going to go down here to the loop and write something. We're going to put... Uh, a variable out here called sensor value and sensor value equals really the digital read of pin number nine easy code so far and then we're going to output that to the serial so we can it's like a loop back and we can read it 
print line and you'll get very familiar with serial print line very handy memorize that sensor value which was stated above and we're gonna put that in decimal format bingo see very easy to write that code Let's throw it over to the Arduino unit and compile it and upload it. And go like this to the serial monitor and you're gonna find that it's gonna be flooded with zeros. Zero, 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 zero. I'm just gonna move all this stuff over and I'll push the magical little button. When I push this button, it should shoot a one here, hopefully, okay? All right, we now have communication. Now it really all comes down to that. First we have to learn how to what? Output, then input. Now we just learned how to input digitally. We also have to learn to input analog. When you get both of them mastered quite well via sensors or whatever, you can then mix it up to say if button is pushed so if analog or if digital equals one something else happens that's why these first initial um, tutorials are so important they might seem boring and trivial at times but really what it comes down to is I need data and I need to be able to read it and I need to be able to translate it to something else so in another event can happen Okay, so congratulations, you now have digital read under your belt. That's how it works. Enjoy. Let's move on to the next video.